All right, now let's start working on inequalities. And I will do four examples to illustrate them. So first one over here, we have x plus 7 is smaller than 8. What do we do to get started? I can subtract a 7 from both sides. This will be very similar to just an equation for now at least. 7 minus 7 is 0. So I can bring down the x. I'll also bring down the, the sign here. x is smaller than 8 minus 7, which is 1. And this is the answer. x is smaller than 1. I can write it like this, x such that, this means such that, x is smaller than 1. Okay, let's also draw a number line to illustrate this. I can make an open dot at 1. Why open? Because x cannot equal 1, but it can be anything smaller than one. So that's why I highlighted the area to the left of one. It could be zero, it could be negative one, negative five, negative twenty, negative one million. All those numbers are smaller than smaller than one. So they would work. Okay, how about two x plus one is greater or equal to nine? This little line here means that can be equal as well, so greater or equal to 9. Let's start by subtracting 1 from both sides of the inequality. 1 minus 1 is 0. I can bring down to 2x. I don't need to write the 0. 2x is greater or equal to 9 minus 1, 8. Then I can divide both sides by 2. And x will be greater or equal to 8 divided by 2, 4. Let's draw a number line. In this case, we're going to make a closed dot. So a little circle filled in. I can put the 4 over here. And x is greater or equal to 4, so I can highlight the area to the right. So x can take any value that is over 4. 5, 6, 7, 20, a billion, anything. And I will write the solution like this as well. Okay, now, third example. 3 minus x is greater than 2. First step, I will subtract 3 from both sides over here. 3 minus 3 is 0. I bring down the negative x. Negative x is greater than 2. Minus 3, negative 1. Then, I need to divide both sides by negative 1. So negative 1 divided by negative 1 makes a positive 1. So x is... Now something really important happens. Very important. This signal will switch from greater than to smaller than. Why? Because we divided both sides by a negative number. Every time we do that, you need to switch the direction. Negative 1 divided by negative 1 is 1. So the answer is just x is smaller than 1. So remember that, and always pay attention. If you divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number, the signal changes. And let's make an open dot right here at 1. And x is going to be smaller than 1, so same answer as this. Right, so we can circle, or sorry, highlight the area to the left. And I'll write it like this as well. Okay, last example. Now we have variables on both sides. So I will add an x to both sides, and I will take away a 5 as well. That way... 5 minus 5 is 0, they cancel out. Negative 3x plus x is negative 2x. Is small or equal? 9 minus 5, 4. 
negative x plus x, 0. Great. Nice and clean. Negative 2x is smaller or equal to 4. I can divide both sides by negative 2. And by doing that, this will become greater or equal. Those cancel out. We bring down the x. x is greater or equal to 4 divided by negative 2. Negative 2. It's greater or equal, so we're going to make a closed dot. We're going to fill it in. That's a negative 2, and x is greater, so I'm going to highlight the area to the right, because it can be anything greater than negative 2. Negative 1, 0, 3, 5, 20, a billion. So that is the answer. And that's it. Now I suggest you try a few questions, and good luck.